hello everybody welcome and welcome back to my channel as you guys may know we are on a journey to clearer skin for 2022 and as you guys see in that title today i am taking you guys along with me to get a chemical pill specifically the pca skin chemical pill now it is not my first time getting this pill i probably got it like two or three times in 2021 um and probably even in 2022 really not too sure probably in total two to three times but today you guys are gonna see me get this chemical peel and i'm very very excited because there are so many benefits of chemical peels especially this one because it is made for sensitive skin which is something that i have and i just love the results at the end my skin is so succulent it's so smooth it's so radiant it's so bright you know my products really um, absorb into my skin very well and i'm just glad that you guys are able to see my skin because i definitely want to see my results at the end and i want you guys to see my results and let me know what you guys think in the comment down below um i am not going to be talking too much in this video but i do want to share some benefits with you guys and tell you guys exactly what a chemical peel is now as you guys may know i do have like oily skin oily acne prone skin i do suffer from some hyperpigmentation from previous acne scars and i'm looking forward to getting rid of this in 2022 as much as i can because baby we gotta be glowing all the time we gotta be glowing in the summertime in the fall in the winter we gotta be glowing 24 7 our skin has to be looking good especially for me because i don't wear makeup y'all i don't wear makeup at all i'm not a makeup girl i feel like makeup is not needed and i feel like my skin always has to be on point you know especially since i don't wear that type of stuff you know no hatred to the girls that do it is just not my type of tea so yeah i am going to be sharing you guys exactly what a chemical peel is and its benefits so yeah so basically a chemical peel is a powerful skin exfoliation solution that is applied to your face your neck you can even apply it to your hands or your feet y'all if you do suffer from any like darker skin i know sometimes like you know sometimes people's underarms be darker you can use it on any scars like um if you have any scars on your back you can even do like a chemical peel on that so that's very very cool um it reveals the skin to be smoother and clearer which is what i really really like and it is a popular technique nowadays people do chemical peels you know they do microneedling they do derma planning and these tools are very very important because you know they target a variety of skin concerns as you know with me my chemical peels are specifically targeted for just a little bit of acne that i get occasionally um and my hyperpigmentation so that's specifically why i do get chemical peels and because i do suffer from uneven skin tone and sometimes my skin is very textured so yeah y'all know the dealio so some benefits of chemical peels um, especially this one is that it treats acne so any topical acne that you do have this chemical peel will go deep into the skin to get rid of that um, and also that it minimizes any sort of pores so if you do have large pores which is a common concern for many people nowadays this chemical peel will remove any you know outer or maybe damaged layer of skin um, that your pores may be suffering from also it erases fine lines and wrinkles now i don't suffer from fine lines and wrinkles because y'all i'm still young i'm only 21 years old so this really doesn't pertain to me but you know people typically do chemical peels because it helps with that it aids in that um you know it permanently removes any fine lines and it eases any sort of tough wrinkles any of that sort um it also fades discoloration so if you want to feel more confident and vibrant and beautiful in your skin which sometimes many may feel like you know i have acne so i'm ugly which is not the case um chemical peels do aid in that as well and it also soothes your scars and balances your texture now i really really love this because i'm trying to get rid of old acne scars that i have on my skin um, and it can take a while and i feel like chemical peels really do aid in that um, and also that it also balances your texture as i mentioned before if you have any sort of uneven skin tone or blemishes this chemical peel will remove the texture of your skin sometimes your skin may be bumpy due to you know any sort of like blackheads or whiteheads that are underneath your skin that are not actually visible but you can feel it yourself this chemical peel definitely removes that and i love that because my skin was suffering from like textures and stuff like that so chemical peels really do aid in that but i'm not going to talk too much you guys are going to see everything you're going to you guys are going to see the results how my skin looks 
all of that good stuff so i'll see you guys at the end bye
Good morning guys. So this is day one of my chemical peel. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but my face is a little dry. Um, around my nose is always oily, so that's nothing new, but my cheeks are dry. Um, everything else is pretty dry. My face feels a little tight, but it's not that tight. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have no peeling. Um, yeah, basically. I'm about to go ahead and wash my face and I'm gonna show you guys exactly the products that I use. Um, especially when I have a chemical peel, it's the same products, but I try to stay away from acid um, because I don't think that's good when you have a chemical peel. Also, um, I'm going to be catching up with you guys every morning and night um, about this process. So, yeah. So. so, to start off my morning, I typically just use this cleansing facial cream by Kiehl's. It's very gentle and I basically use this every day. As you guys can see, I need like a whole new one. Um, following that... I use my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Toner, hydrates, this really, really hydrates my skin. I was looking for a toner that wasn't too drying and this became my best friend. Following that, I use their Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. Um, this is a serum, it deals with my dark spots. Then as a moisturizer in the morning, my moisturizers change from the morning to the night, but in the morning I use this Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream. Um, and I feel like this is really, really good, it's light. Um, and it deals with my oiliness, so yeah. And then last but not least, I use this eye cream, um, this creamy eye treatment. I'm pretty sure a lot of people use this, and it's really good. It doesn't remove dark circles, but it deals with if your underbags are really dry. And sometimes mine tend to be, and I like to focus on moisture in the winter time, so yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go wash my face, and I'll catch up with you guys when it's time for me to go to bed. All right, guys, so I'm home. Today is day two of the chemical peel, and my skin is actually peeling a little bit, if you guys can see right here. It's like peeling by my nose. It starts off peeling by my nose every time I get a chemical peel, and then it leads to around my mouth, and then, yeah, that's basically it. So day two, not that much peeling. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to see you guys. I didn't record this morning only because my skin wasn't any different. I didn't have any peeling, so... I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow, and that'll be day three, and we're going to see how much peeling I do overnight, so. Good morning, guys. It is day three of the chemical peel, and I wanted to come on here and be very transparent with you guys and show you guys exactly what my skin is looking like after washing my face on day three because it looks very ashy, um, and it's actually starting to peel a little bit, so I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like before I put on my moisturizer my serum my eye cream my toner and all that good stuff and i'm going to show you guys that routine really quickly but look at how white my face looks you guys like look at that look at how my skin i know my lips look ashy but look at how my skin is peeling it's starting to peel on the cheek by the nose you guys see that and even a little bit by the eyebrows. I don't think you guys can tell, but my skin is super white and it's time to hydrate it and moisturize it. I'm actually going to put a picture right here, probably like right here, right here, um, to show you guys some of the dead skin that came off yesterday. And I really, really like to see that because I know the chemical peel is working and it's effective. Um, and I like to see my dead skin come off because I feel like that's uh, one of the main reasons why your skin may not be... Um, clearing is because you have a lot of dead skin um, and that clogs the product from really penetrating into your face so let's go ahead and do my toner I'm gonna go ahead and just tone my face really quickly I don't I'm not a little rough I don't do it roughly um, I just try to remove any excess dirt or dead skin that may be on my face so I'm going to show you guys exactly what the cotton round looks like after. I'm so excited for like day four and day five because that's when I wash my face and I really start to see like the dead skin come off. And it's so soothing for some reason to me. I don't know if I'm the only one. When they get chemical peel, they like to see um, dead skin come off. But I go over on my skin twice with the toner and then... That's basically it. This is one. So let me show you guys what the cotton round is looking like. But this is what the cotton round is looking like after. Going with the second one right now. 
through that really quickly. I'm also recording on my phone, so. And this is two. This is cotton round number two. So yeah, see that dead skin? I just use this dark spot serum right here. I do one, two, one, two. During my chemical peel process, I don't put any acid or anything on my skin because my skin is like kind of like healing in a way when you do chemical peels. And I follow through in with my 24 hour hydration shine control for oily skin. When the summertime comes around, I need to get one that has SPF in it because SPF is important for sunlight. I also try to stray away from the sun with this chemical peel on. Because if you go in the sun with chemical pills, your dark marks will get darker. So keep that in mind. I just rub that all on my skin. And just like that, my routine is over. So let me do a little close up. You guys can still see my face. See my nose is peeling. Over here is peeling. Um, I still have some peeling spots, but you do want to leave it um, and just go on. But as you guys can see, my skin is a little bit more moisturized. So yeah so yeah i'm gonna see you guys later tonight and we're gonna catch up to see if i have any more peeling if i don't then i'm gonna see you guys the next morning so good morning guys i know i look a little bit crazy and i sound crazy but it's just because i just woke up don't judge me judge your sister um i came on here because i don't even think i spoke to you guys yesterday i caught up you guys i think the last two days i'm not too sure i kind of got lost of the count um things been really busy but my skin is still peeling um, it's mainly peeling on my forehead now. Um, yesterday, it was really peeling on my nose and under my chin and a little bit around my mouth. But I'm going to show you guys my forehead because um, it's peeling. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is my forehead right now. Like, this is what it's looking like. It's peeling a little bit. You can also see a little peeling over here. Um, but yeah, pretty much it's on my forehead today. But for the most part, this video or this whole um peeling process will probably end on saturday um so yeah hi guys i just wanted to come on here and show you guys how my skin is looking i literally just came out the shower and my skin is peeling y'all look at my forehead look at my cheek look at that that's so scary and my other cheek y'all this is like so scary but i want to come on here and show you guys this because I'm just like, they gonna wanna see this. This is so interesting. Hi guys, so I'm checking in. It is a couple of days later. Today is February 16th. And as you guys know, um, I did get my chemical pill on the 5th. And I wanted to come on here and just end off the vlog and end off like this whole journey because I'm like, oh my God, I didn't show you guys what my skin looks like now. I didn't really give you guys in detail how I felt about the chemical pill um, in general. It is not my first time getting this chemical pill, but um, I do feel like every time I do have a different experience and I do love how my skin looks and feels after. So I want to give you guys, I'm going to show you guys my skin after the video. Um, and you guys will get like a whole gist of what my cheeks look like, everything, all that good stuff. But as of right now, I would just say that my skin is definitely looking good. Um, I would say that overall, the texture of my skin has definitely decreased. Um, I would also say that the chemical peel did peel as it usually would. It was no different this time. Um, definitely, I remember when I first got a chemical peel, well, this specific one, my forehead was peeling um, a lot more than it did this time. But I still experienced some peeling um, and I really, really loved it. So, yeah, if you do have sensitive skin, I do recommend this chemical peel um, instead of having like those harsh chemical peels because like i said i have experienced like horror stories um on tiktok and youtube about people who got chemical peels and it like totally ruined their skin so i don't recommend you to get those types unless your doctor really says that it's good for your skin but for me my esthetician knows my skin and she knows what's best so yeah this is my skin right now it's actually looking pretty good I'm having some breakouts underneath my cheek. I'm not too sure why because I don't typically break out under my cheek and I know that's very rare for me. So I really need to like look into it and figure out what's going on. But overall, my skin is looking like this. 
um typically on the right side of my face is where i'll break out the most and i think that's because i sleep on that side a lot and my esthetician also said that if you sleep on that side a lot that's when you will produce the most acne so i'm not really too surprised um but overall my skin feels good um, I washed it this morning and I just wanted to come on here and update you guys. So now you guys are going to see a whole video of what my skin is looking like right now. Um, and yeah, tell me what you guys think.